Oppo takes on Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip head-to-head -head with the launch of the Find N2 Flip this week in London. Which phone is better? And does Oppo have what it takes to become the undisputed king of foldable smartphones? Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker. Over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the exciting people I get to meet along the way. So if this is the kind of content you enjoy, make sure to give this channel a like and a subscribe, and I'll help you find the right gadget to match your needs. This is our Oppo Find N2 unboxing and review. Flashback. Hey guys, it's still winter in New York, but it's a relatively warm day today. So I figured why not film outside? I am so excited because I'm heading to London early next week for the launch of the Oppo Find N2 Flip. Not to be confused with the Find N2. That one's a foldable phone. This one flips. And this package just arrived today. And if my guess is correct, I already have one inside. So let's open it up together. Let's dig in. Sometimes you have to be careful when cutting into these boxes. I've accidentally cut boxes before, already slicing into the device, but looks like today we're fine. Alrighty. What's inside this box? Yeah. <laughs> we do have the fine den because we have a portable PU case. We got this box, which is, I wonder what's inside. We'll find out together. And yes, it looks like we do have the phone. Now, the question that I really want to find out is what color did I get? Because I believe, at least from the teasers that we've seen, there's a black one and a purple one. So you know which color I want. I'm team anything but black. <laughs> yes, moonlit. moonlit purple. Awesome. All right, guys, let's get this junk away. Let's unbox this phone. Okay, I cannot wait. I want to know what's inside this box. Ooh, is this a leather case? It's either a giveaway, like a token, or a leather case, is what my guess is. Ooh, that's so nice. It is a leather case. Very nice. I wonder if that's real leather or faux leather. It's white on the outside and like a caramel brown on the inside. And there's a button to close it. We have this next, but maybe we'll uh, open this guy first. Still has its seal. Let's just slice it. There you go. All right, here it goes. Inspiration ahead. It's the same box design as the Find N2, but this one is in white. Let's take a look at the phone. Oh, that's a really nice shade of purple. It's a light purple. It's got a glossy finish to it and a really big cover screen. And we'll take a look at it again later. Also in the box you have a plastic TPU clear case. Comes in two pieces. You have some paperwork, safety guide, and a SIM ejector tool. A USB A to C adapter. Next up, a Super Vook charger. Let's see how many watts this guy has. A 67 watt Super Vook charger. A USB A to C cable. Okay, let's peel this off. So that's what it looks like before you actually flip it. The crease is not very visible. Very satisfying. I don't want to scratch this baby, so let's go ahead and open up our case. This case was designed to match our moonlit purple phone. It's in lavender, and to open it up, just pull. Ooh, that's a lovely color. So it's stuck together. So all you have to do is slide this in. There is a sticker they want you to peel off, but for now, I'm not going to peel it off first. So I'll snap that on like that. And you have a little handle. Alrighty, let's power it on. Ah, 
I just set up the phone and we have a lot more to discover. So I hope you join me as we travel to London and also get to know the new Oppo Find N2 Flip. This is the Find N2 Flip, one of two foldable smartphones from Oppo. While the Find N2 differentiates itself from Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 4 by being shorter but wider, the Find N2 Flip very much resembles the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Side by side, you'll find the Find N2 Flip to be a bit wider, but it's roughly the same height. In the hands, they feel very similar. Its camera modules are larger, and with that Hasselblad branding, one would assume its cameras are also better. The most obvious difference, though, is its large cover screen. The Find N2 Flip has a 3.26-inch display, which takes up more than half of its front face. And when you open it up, it's got a 6.8-inch 120Hz AMOLED panel. Buttons are all on the right-hand side. There's power, which doubles as a fingerprint sensor, and the volume rocker. The SIM card tray is on the bottom, and good news, it's a dual nano SIM phone. All right, with that out of the way, let's head to London. I'm taking the red eye tonight, but I've used the phone for a bit today. Just for context, before we do our battery check, I unplugged it from its charger at 1.10 p.m. at a full 100%. Later that night. Traffic was light, and the next thing I knew, I was at the Centurion Lounge at JFK's Terminal 4. My favorite place to hang when taking evening flights is their Speakeasy 1580 tucked away in the lounge's basement floor. I was thrilled to find out my buddy David the Unlocker was also on the same flight. David had been traveling quite a bit, so we had a cocktail and caught up on life. Hey guys, um, so it is uh, 7.30 p.m. I made it to the airport. Uh, I unplugged this phone at, I think, about 12 noon. It got really busy, like packing, getting ready for this flight. Uh, so it's only now that I can do a battery check. And I've been using the phone for about, uh, I just checked, I think, uh, over three hours of screen on time. Um, and we are now at 72%. David and I serendipitously picked seats in front of each other, which was great so that we could help film each other. I've been using the phone for several days now, but because I've had many other phones to review, this was the first full day that I used it as my main phone. Its flippy form factor was familiar, and I felt right at home. Having worked all day, I was famished, and thankfully, meal service came quick. Before we hit the sack, David and I exchanged files using Oppo's version of Apple's AirDrop, Oppo Share. It worked well, and we both ended up with clips of each other quite quickly. Before I went to bed, I decided to do a battery check to see what idled battery drain was like. I was in bed by 12.32 a.m. New York time. The phone was at 43%, and I woke up three hours and 30 minutes later, and the phone was at 37% draining about 6% while I slept. Next thing we knew, we were landing in London. While waiting for other friends to arrive at the airport, I got a better look at the Astral Black Find N2 Flip, which, unlike my glossy moonlit purple model, has a matte finish and flecks of glitter that glisten when hit by light. Soon, the crew was complete, and we were on our way to our hotel, driving by some quaint London streets and some famous landmarks. Many unbearable hours later. So I've made it to my hotel in London, and now that we're here, it's time to test out the phone's cameras. However, my phone is about to die, so I think I'll need to charge first. So why not do one final battery check? It is 3.10 p.m., and the phone is at 4% with about 6 hours and 37 minutes of screen on time. Battery usage by app is as follows. The camera is at 12.68%, which makes sense because I use this phone to shoot all that interstitial video that you saw earlier. Instagram and Telegram used about four to 5%.
If there is one thing to love about Oppo phones is Super VOOC charging. While the phone ships with a 67 watt Super VOOC charger, the Find N2 Flip only supports Super VOOC 44 watts, which isn't the insanely fast kind, but charge speeds were pretty zippy nonetheless. With its 4,300 milliamp hour battery, it got to 23% in 10 minutes, 60% in 30, a full charge took one hour. For context, based on the Gadget Match charge test, that's 1.5 times faster than the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Unlike the Z Flip 4, however, it does not support wireless charging. The next day, I got to attend the global launch event, and I was thrilled to be at an in-person event again. Oppo did a good job at organizing this one. Keynote was quick and to the point, and at the end, they finally revealed its launch price. 849 pounds for the 8 plus 256 gigabyte model which is 110 pounds cheaper than the current price of the 8 plus 256 Galaxy Z Flip 4 in the UK. The phone launched at 1,059 pounds last year, but Samsung has since slashed the price down. Not sure if that's a permanent price drop. But if you're choosing between this phone and the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and price is a concern, then definitely get the Find N2 Flip if it's available in your region. The phone is launching in other markets soon. Unfortunately, it's not coming to the United States. One of the big talking points at the launch event is how the crease on this phone is hardly noticeable. And in person, it is much less visible than the Galaxy Z Flip 4. A big part of this is thanks to the second gen Oppo Flex Ion hinge, which folds the display into a teardrop shape when closed. Because of this, there isn't a big gap when the phone is folded shut. Even after 216,000 folds, the crease will still remain hardly visible. And it's rated for 400,000 fold and unfold cycles. Basically, if you do the math, that's 100 times a day for up to 10 years. After the launch event, I got to catch up with my buddy Tom the Tech Chap, who did a teardown of the phone and was able to show me what the Flex Ion hinge really looks like. Pretty impressive. The hinge is strong enough to keep your phone open anywhere from 45 to 110 degrees, which is perfect if you prop it up a lot to take selfies, take Zoom calls, or watch videos. I'm back in New York and I finally had time to review the photos that I shot during my trip to London. But before we do, let's take a look at hardware. The Find N2 Flip has two cameras, including a 50 megapixel wide camera with a Sony IMX890 sensor, which is the same one used on the OnePlus 11, which I actually really enjoyed. It's also got an eight megapixel ultra wide camera with an f2.2 lens. Inside, under the punch hole, there is a 32 megapixel f2.4 selfie camera. But the beauty of a flip phone is that you can use its main camera to take selfies. Just like many high-end Oppo phones, there's a Hasselblad partnership, which means there is custom color tuning and some custom filters meant to mimic some Hasselblad lenses. Now let's take a look at some of the best photos from my trip side by side with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4.
The Oppo Find N2 Flip can shoot 4K video at up to 60 frames per second. However, during my use, and this is also something that a lot of my other tech reviewer friends have experienced, when you switch to maybe the selfie camera or you use the cover screen and use the front cameras that way, it will automatically revert back from 4K to 1080p. I don't know if it was a software glitch, but it is definitely something that Oppo can fix with a software update. One thing that really got me excited about the Find N2 Flip was the size of its cover screen. I love how big it is versus the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 or the Moto Razr. However, I was very disappointed when I found out there was very little use for it. But let me backtrack and tell you what I like about it first. When I swipe up, I love the ability to see more notifications, six to be exact, versus two on the Z Flip 4. And when I swipe down, I like that I have access to more quick settings, nine in total versus three on the Z Flip 4. And last but not least, this size and orientation is perfect for taking selfies using the main camera. That said, the biggest letdown for me was that you can't run Android apps on the cover screen like you could do on the Motorola Razr. Had Oppo implemented this, it would definitely be a big reason to pick this phone over the Z Flip 4. Think about it, this orientation would have been a great way to watch TikTok videos. Instead, you're left with widgets, like this camera widget, weather and timer. A representative from Oppo tells me that the intention behind this is to keep the cover screen experience simple and easy. And I can imagine how difficult it might be to reply to say a text message using the small screen, but I would still like to have this option. While you can view your notifications and have an option to reply, you can only do so via an emoji or one of a few templated quick replies. So is the Oppo Find N2 Flip your gadget match. While there are some software kinks to iron out and the covered display could be more useful, this is definitely a solid first gen device. A lot of things it does better than the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Its battery lasts longer, charges faster, its hinge design is better, and the crease less visible. And that cover display shows us more things. It just doesn't run full apps, at least not yet. Its MediaTek Dimensity 9000 Plus processor is powerful and didn't leave me dealing with any hiccups. And its cameras, they can go head to head with this phone also. Oppo is also promising four years of OS updates and five years of security updates. And then you have the cheaper price tag. The only other question left to ask is, is it available where you live? And that was our Oppo Find N2 Flip review. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, you know the drill folks. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. We're heading to Barcelona for Mobile World Congress, so there are plenty of videos yet to come real soon. Subscribe to me or follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.